Hey everyone, welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Well, back in January, we hired a new Director of Soccer Development, a name that's pretty well known for those of you who have followed MLS over the years. Tommy Sohn, former coach of both DC United and the Vancouver Whitecaps, along with being a former player in the league in its early years, came on board here in January. We're going to tell you his story about how he ended up at the National Sports Center in a couple of minutes. But first, just recently, we hosted the annual Taste of Blaine here at the Schwann Center. Now this event is put on by an organization called Free to Be. They help provide transportation solutions for those that are disadvantaged in the community. NSC TV was there to find out a little bit more about this program. And the event we're having tonight is one of our biggest fundraisers. We uh, have uh, over 30 some restaurants that participate, come volunteer their time, their food, and we sell tickets to fundraise. And what we're fundraising for is actually uh, we help people with transportation issues, people that may be in need and can't afford either a car or repair their car so we try to get them a car which we're actually this one here today we're going to give away and then also uh, we help people with repairs that can't afford it. Feels amazing I mean it couldn't have went to a more needful family of three you can see us three here and uh, <laughs> Um, it just feels great. I, I'm in shock. I'm, I have no words for, for what this is. It's just amazing. We want to keep people on the road. We want them to be productive and, and, and they want to be that way as well. So we try to help them along and it seems to be working pretty doggone good. I could take my kid out to uh, see some places here in Minnesota and, you know, some M Mall of America is what I, my first plan is. And, uh, um, yeah, just doctor's appointments, you know, grocery shopping without having to, you know, do it on a bike with a bag or a relative with a car. And it just feels amazing. I'm in shock. Well, as always, people had a lot of fun at the Taste of Blaine. There was a lot of great food, and we look forward to this annual tradition next year. As we mentioned at the top, we have a new director of soccer development, Tommy Sohn, former player in MLS, former coach in MLS. Now he's here at the National Sports Center. So we sat down and talked with him about his journey from player to coach to this new position here. Long and short, my parents were German immigrants and um, I think the only sport they knew was soccer. So naturally that was the sport of choice for us. Uh, uh, but having said that, it was probably the luckiest day of my life getting me in the sports of so uh, soccer in general because um, I played from four until um, college and then moved on to the pros and um, was able to make a, a nice career out of a game that you love to play. Well, my early days I was drafted to, uh, I was playing in Colorado for the Foxes in the, in the APSL and I was drafted to uh, the Dallas Burn, um, who have since changed their name to FC Dallas. In 98 I was traded to Chicago, um, which was great for me because I was getting close to the end of my career and I got to finish at home in front of friends and family. Um, in that first year, and probably the only expansion franchise to do this, we won both MLS Cup and, and the Open Cup, which are the two biggest tournaments. Um, so being part of that team, um, being the only expansion team to do that was pretty exciting. Um, but then comes that difficult time of what's next. And um, for me, coaching always came easy. Um, and Bob asked me to join his staff. Uh, Bob Bradley asked me to join his staff. And, and for me, it was an easy selection to do that. Um, so I did that for the next three years, and I think transitioning out of being a player to a coach, uh, being an assistant helps a lot because you still train along, and um, you know, sports are, when you're in the business of sports, the highs are really high and the lows are really low, but I don't think there's any other job in the world that um, that transitions to, so. Um, I left Chicago to be Peter Novak's assistant in D.C. Um, and that first year we turned a club that hadn't made the playoffs for about four years to a championship team. 
Um, so again, I got to experience a championship for the first time as a coach. And Peter th then left and took the Olympic team and I took over DC um, for three years. And um, first year we won the Supporter Shield, which is um, the team that has the best record at the end of the season. Uh, won an Open Cup there. Um, and then it was, you know, six years that any professional uh, sport or job is a lot for a um, so it was time for a change and um, Vancouver was building a franchise in MLS and um, for me there were certain dreams I wanted and one of them was building a franchise and then putting your, your stamp on it. We took a team and we knew we were going to MLS. We were able to build it and uh, prepare ourselves for a year. Uh, moved into MLS and in the second year we made the playoffs and um, so pretty proud of, of that accomplishment. Well, I was in the league from its start as a player, then as a coach, and then as a, a, a GM. And it was time for us to make a decision family-wise that, you know, we need to settle down and, and make somewhere home for the kids. Um, we can't keep moving around year to year. Um, my wife was from this area. She actually played in the first uh, USA Cup. Um, so, we, you know, we, we had a summer home in the area. and. It just made sense to be closer to family and closer to some place that I'd never been able to enjoy, uh, which is my summer homes. Um, and you know what, we're, we're real happy we made that choice because it was time to, to make a decision for the kids' sake because they had been so supportive of what I've done. Um, and you know, we purposely chose Blaine because we knew there were, this complex was here, not knowing that I'd work here, um, but knowing that our family is going to be knee deep in soccer because the soccer is still our life and our passion. So. Well, we look forward to Tommy's contributions to USA Cup and all the soccer programs here at the National Sports Center. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Hi, everybody! <laughs> it's NSC TV time! All right. <laughs> mm. Mm. Here's a free appetizing coupon for you. Okay, hang on. Action shot, I'm, I'm ready? Busy, I'm busy on camera. Here. Action shot. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. You guy eating on no. the job. You wouldn't get this stuff at Ritter and Mary Uchi, would you? No. Mm. You say no. Just no, absolutely not. No, no. Yeah.